In today's video, we are going to learn about book. So what is a book? A book is a medium for recording information in the form of writing or images typically composed of many pages bound together and protected by a cover. In the history of handheld physical supports for extended written compositions or records, the book replaces its predecessor, the scroll. A single sheet in a book is like a leaf of the scroll and each side of a leaf is a page. A book is an intellectual object and a composition of great length requiring a considerable amount of time to compose and still a considerable amount of time to read. A book is a self-sufficient section or part of a longer composition and a usage that reflects the fact that long works had to be written on several scrolls and each scroll had to be identified by the book it contained. A book is the compositional whole of which sections, whether called books, chapters, or parts, are parts. The intellectual content in a physical book need not be a composition, nor even be called a book. Books can consist only of drawings, engravings, or photographs, crossword puzzles, or cutout dolls. In a physical book, the pages can be left blank or can feature an abstract set of lines to support entries in an account book or an appointment book an autograph book, a notebook, diary, or a sketchbook. Some physical books are made with thick pages and sturdy enough to support other physical objects like a scrapbook or photograph album. Books may be distributed in electronic forms as e-books and other formats. A collector of book or an avid reader is called a bibliophile or a bookworm. Place where books are traded is a bookshop or bookstore. Books are also sold elsewhere and can be borrowed from libraries. In some wealthier nations, the sale of printed books has decreased due to the increased uses of e-books. The word books comes from Old English Bock, which in turn comes from the German word Bock, cognate with beach. In Slavic languages like Russian, Bulgarian, Macedonian, the word bukva is cognate with beach. In Russian, Siberian, and Macedonian, the word bukva refers to a primary school textbook that helps young children to master the techniques of reading and writing. Earliest Indo European writings may have been carved on beech wood. The Latin word codex, meaning a book, in the modern sense, originally meant block of wood. Next, we are going to learn about the history of books. When writing systems were created in ancient civilizations, variety of objects such as stone, clay, tree bark, metal sheets, and bones were used for writing. A tablet is a physically robust writing medium used throughout the Bronze Age and well into the Iron Age. A tablet is suitable for casual transport and writing. Clay tablets were flattened and mostly dry pieces of clay that could be easily carried and impressed with a stylus. Wax tablets were pieces of wood covered in a coating of wax thick enough to record the impressions of a stylus. There were the normal writing material in schools, in accounting, and for taking notes. They had the advantages of being reusable. The custom of binding several ta wax tablets together is a possible precursor of modern bound books. It is suggested that the word codex may have developed from wooden wax tablets. Next, we are going to learn about the scroll. The scrolls can be made from papyrus, a thick paper-like material made by weaving the stems of the papyrus plant, then pounding the woven sheet with a hammer-like tool until it is flattened. Papyrus sheets were glued together to form a scroll. Tree bark such as lime and other materials were also used. According to the history, the Phoenicians brought writing and papyrus to Greece around the 10th century BC. The Greek word for papyrus was writing material and book comes from the Phoenician port town Babylus through which papyrus was exported to Greece. The scrolls were the dominant form of book in the Hellenistic, Roman, Chinese, Hebrew, and Macedonian cultures. Next topic is Codex. A codex is composed of many books while a book is of one scroll. A codex is the first information repository that modern people would recognize as a book. The codex never gained much popularity in the pagan 
Hellenistic world and it was used widely only within the Christian community. Codex was adopted as a form of book during the 3rd and 4th centuries and the reasons for adopting were several. Codex is more economical as both sides of the writing material can be used. Codex is portable, searchable and easy to conceal. A book is much easier to read to find a page that you want and to flip through. A scroll is more awkward to use. A book can also be easily stored in more compact places or side by side in a library or shelf space. Next we are going to learn about manuscripts. The fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD saw the decline of the culture of ancient Rome papyrus. Papyrus became difficult to obtain due to lack of contact with Egypt and parchment became the main writing material. Parchment has been used for centuries in the past for writing on. Parchment is a material made from processed animal skin, most commonly calf skin, sheep skin or goat skin. Parchment was historically used for writing documents, notes or the pages of a book. Parchment is lined, scrapped and dried under tension. Parchment is suitable to write on it but it is very reactive to changes in relative humidity and it reverts back to rawhide if overly wet. Before the invention and adoption of the printing press, almost all books were copied by hand which made books expensive and comparatively rare. There were th five types of scribes, calligraphers who dealt in fine book production, copists who deal with basic production and correspondence, correctors who collected and compared a finished book with the manuscript from which it has been produced. Illuminators who painted illustrations and rubricators who painted in the red letters. The book making process was long and laborious. The parchment had to be prepared then the unbound pages were planned and ruled with a blunt tool or lead after which the text was written by the scribe who usually left blank areas for illustration and rubrication. Finally the Book was bound by the book binder. Different types of ink were known in the past and they were usually prepared from soot and gum and later also from gall nuts and iron vitriol. Irish monks introduced spacing between words in the 7th century. This facilitated reading, however, the use of spaces between words did not com become commonplace before the 12th century. The first book used parchment for the pages. The book covers were made of wood and covered with leather. The books were fitted with clasps or straps. During the later Middle Ages, when public libraries appeared, books were often chained to a bookshelf or a desk to prevent theft. At first, books were copied mostly in monasteries one at a time. With the rise of universities in the 13th century, the manuscript culture of the time led to an increase in the demand for books and a new system for copying books appeared. The books were divided into unbound leaves which were lent out to different copies so the speed of book production was considered increased. Judaism has kept the art of scribe alive up to the present. People of various religions and ethnic backgrounds in the Middle East also produced and bound books in the Islamic Golden Age, developing an advanced techniques in Islamic calligraphy, miniatures and book binding. A number of cities in the medieval Islamic world had book production center and book markets. The medieval Muslim world also used a method of reproducing reliable copies of a book in large quantities known as check reading. In the check reading method only authors could authorize copies and this was done in public sessions in which the copists and the copy allowed read the copy in which the copist read the copy allowed in the presence of the author who then certified it as accurate. By using the relatively cheap paper instead of parchment or papyrus as writing material, the Muslims accomplished a feat of Christian significance not only to the history of Islamic book but also to the whole world of books. Next is the woodblock printing. In woodblock printing, a relief image of an entire page was carved into blocks of wood, inked and used to print copies of that page. This method originated in China in the Han Dynasty as a method of printing on textiles and later paper was widely used throughout East Asia. The oldest dated book printed by this method is the Diamond Sutra. The woodblock printing method arrived in Europe in the early 14th century. 
books as well as playing cards and religious pictures began to be produced by this method. Creating an entire book was a painstaking process requiring hand carved block for each page and the book wood blocks tended to be cracked if stored for long. The people who wrote them are paid highly. Around 1450, Johannes Gutenberg invented movable type in Europe along with inno innovations in casting the type. This invention gradually made books less expensive to produce and more widely available. Early printed books, single sheets and images which were created before 1501 in Europe were known as incunables or incunabula. Steam-powered printing presses became popular in the early 19th century. Monotype and linotype typesetting machineries were introduced in the late 19th century. There have been numerous improvements in the printing press. Throughout the 20th century, libraries have faced an ever-increasing rate of publishing, sometimes called an information explosion. The advent of electronic publishing and the internet means that much new information is not printed in paper books but is made available online through a digital library in the form of ebooks or other online media. An online book is an ebook that is available online through the internet. Next we are going to learn about how the modern books are manufactured. Modern books are printed on specifically designed papers. Different qualities of paper are used depending on the type of book. Today the majority of books are printed by offset lithography. Nowadays books tend to be manufactured in a few standard sizes. Modern books are originally according to, organized according to a particular format called the books layout. A basic layout will include a front cover, a back cover and the book's content. The front cover often bears the book's title and the name of its author or editor. Most books are now printed on web presses which are fed by a continuous roll of paper and can consequently print more copies in a shorter time. As the production line circulation circulates, a complete book is collected together in one stack next to one another and another web press carries out the folding itself delivering the bundles of signatures or sections ready to go into the gathering line. After the signatures are folded and gathered, they move into the bindery. Making cases happen offline and before the book's arrival at the binding line. After case making, the stack of cases will go to the foil stamping area for adding decorations and types. Recent developments in book manufacturing include the development of digital printing book pages, are printed in the same way as an office copier work using, using toner instead of ink. Digital printing has permitted the manufacture of much smaller quantities than offset, in part because of the absence of make readies and of spoilage. Digital printing has opened up the possibility of print on demand where no books are printed until after an order is received from a customer. Next we are going to learn about ebook. In the 2000s, due to the rise in availability of affordable handheld computing devices, the opportunity to share text through economic electronic means became an appealing option for media publishers. Thus the ebook was made. The term ebook is a contraction of electronic book. It refers to a book length publication in digital form. An ebook is usually made available through the internet but also on CD-ROM and other forms. E-books may be read either via computer, smartphone, tablet or by means of a portable e-ink display device known as an e-book reader. Next is the book design. Book design is the art of incorporating the content, style, format, design and sequence of the various components of a book into a coherent whole. The size of a modern book is based on the printing area of a common flatbed press. The pages of type were arranged and clamped up in a frame so that when printed on a sheet of paper the full size of the press, the pages would be right side up and in order when the sheet was folded and the folded edges trimmed. There are various types of books such as fiction books and non-fiction books. There are also books such as she books of sheet music, albums. 
So what are fiction books? Many of the books published today are fiction, meaning that they contain invented material and are creative literature. It also includes other literary forms such as poetry. Most fiction is categorized by the literary form and genre. The novel is the most common form of fiction books. A novel can be whimsical, serious or controversial. The novel has had a tremendous impact on entertainment and publishing markets. Comic books or graphic novels are also books in which the story is illustrated. Next is non-fiction books. The non-fiction books are based on facts or subjects such as history, politics, social and cultural issues as well as autobiographics and memoirs. Nearly all academic literature is non-fiction. A reference book is a general type of non-fiction book which provides information and separates or supports a point of view. An encyclopedia is a book or set of books designed to have more in-depth information on many topics. A dictionary is a book listing words, their meanings and other information. An atlas is a book which is a collection of maps. Instruction manuals are books with technical information on how to do something or how to use some equipment. Students typically carry textbooks and school books for study purposes. There are also non-published books. Many types of books are private, often filled in by the owner for a variety of personal records. Students use workbooks and notebooks for study or homework. There is a large set of books that are made only to write private ideas, notes and accounts. Notebooks are blank papers to be written in by the user. Next topic is library. Private libraries made up of non-fiction and fiction books first appeared in classic Greece. In the ancient world, the maintaining of a library was usually the privilege of a wealthy individual. These libraries could have been either private or public. Public libraries existed in several cities of the ancient Mediterranean Mediterranean region. Later in the Middle Ages, monasteries and universities also had libraries that could be accessible to general public. There are many uses of book. The primary purpose of book is to read them. There are also other uses such as a book can be used an artistic artifact, a piece of art. Books are sometimes used for their exterior appearance to decorate a room such as a study room. A book may be evaluated by a reader or professional writer to create a book review. A book may be read by a group of people to use as a spark for social or academic discussion. A book may be studied by students on the, as the subject of a writing and analysis exercise in the form of a book report. Book marketing. Once the book is published, it is put on the market by the distributors and book stores. Book marketing is governed by the law in, in many states. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. If you are, have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe.